you here on F124 for trying the career mode. So let's create a new save. Uh, should we start on F1 or F2? Hmm. I'll start on F2. Full season. Custom. One shot qualifying, no practice. Both on increased. They're actually default. Let's go and put the difficulty up to eighty three. Rules and flags. All seem to be fine. Confirm settings. Official driver. We are gonna go as Oliver Berman. Or. Uh. Chuck Dunn. Let's go Oliver Berman. Confirm settings. So, round 1 of 14. So it's time for the sprint for qualifying from the sprint for round 1 in Bahrain. Had bad exit out of turn 3 or turn 1 slash 2. Decent exit out of the final corner in sector 1. Made up for a lot of time. One mine that turn 10, I think that was. Yeah, it was. We've made a lot of time on the chair and the roof. Oh, I think I'm going to need to put the AI up for. Well, it's never really so sorry to me if the AI was. Here we get full position for the feature race and we'll be starting P8 for the sprint race. So first day of poll for Oliver Berman. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the by race five gets hundredths of a second in our teammate Frederick Vesti and P5. So 67 overall rating and 35 experience. 67 racecraft, 63 awareness, 72 pace, and 86 focus. Which. So it's 5 red lights. And it's lights out on the way we go. We get a decent start off the line. I mean, my old teammate Vesti has a terrible start. We can get up to P7. Law contact with turn 1 with the F1 in the field. Up to P8 now, right behind our teammate, Frederick Vesti. 
in the Arthur Prima. Signed by Sino, and we get the move of P7 here on Mark 1. So, we have 8 laps here in the sprint. As we move up to P6, all we can pay will push here in the ALT. So, this is the 2023 season, where I have to solve the 2023 grid, not the 2024 grid. Absolutely, I'll forget to really. Gain 4 places here on the opening lap. Had a bad exit. Made a big mistake there. Out of turn 11. Round turn 13. We make contact with Victor Martins, I think that was. And now we have front wind damage, which is really not good. So, not a good way to start off the season. Zane Maloney also has damage. I'm going to try to stay out with this block in the front wing and just see what happens and see what the result will be. Lap 2 out of 8. We block extremely late into turn 14 and then into the back of Victor Martins. I'm pretty sure that was. They go down the inside of St. Maloney into turn 8. Made the big missing corner into turn 10. Trying to keep St. Maloney behind. Then it's all gone chap soon and it ends with pretty filthy. I'm a teammate friend to the festy. I was in just time to form to Charles there. Somehow it turned eight. I actually don't think it was possible until now. Yeah, but definitely think we should have the AI more higher up on these F2 bases. We make contact with the rear wind of Chat Poon and the Matusi. Also, make a big mistake and go off track at turn 12. Lose two places again. Get a warning for track limits, unsurprisingly. We seem to give a lot of time going into the breaking zones on these cars. We can't hear our eyes on Jack Crawford. Can we get an overtake into turn 1? Enzo Fittipaldi is locked up. I'll get the switch back on Jack Crawford and get the move done. For P13. Not for track for the next two laps. And I'll go completely for the last point then. Great. That, I mean, that was completely my fault. Now we're going to go in the box. Pit.
trying not to make contact with Chap Crawford. Let's go on you so try and get as fast as far. Even though it won't matter at all. Well, at least if we get in our first day with F2 race. Okay, we are now changing our front run. We are now in last position. And that person was 13.3 seconds on. We are like 30 seconds off everyone else. And this race is now a complete disaster. Only because of some contact. Yep, 35 seconds down. Great. I will take three laps to go to gain 30 seconds on the rest of the field, which is going to be impossible. Unless no all 21 of the cars have a massive crash, which is unlikely. That trident, though, is leading, is dominating this race. I should get a purple sector one. Purple sector to only 23 seconds behind seeing the only now. So it's like 3 seconds off everyone else due to that front wind damage. So we are about to get the fastest lap here in Zakir. The second final lap now, we get the fastest lap of 1 plus 2, 2, 9, 1. Which isn't that bad. After a very terrible sprint race, we almost spin the last corner and we come across the line and last. Person not feel good to see. But well, hopefully we can gain points back in the future race, you know, it really matters. And try what up to date is chat doing in the after all this drama, you'd be mad so not to for the next that. race. We hope to see Wins you there. Take race. care. Well, by 5.8 seconds. And then Kuchmany in second, and Martins in third. Then our teammate, Frederick Fess in P13. So a terrible race for Prima. As a damage. Around these 11 laps of secure. So it's late, so... And away we go, we get a good start off the line. We're going to cover off Gerhan Tuvula into turn 1. Taking the inside line, we're going 3 right into turn 1 between Tuvula, me, and Fifth County. Tuvula is annoyed that I'm done with Peter. I'm going to go around the outside at turn 4. As the river goes over the curve, I'll make a bit of a mistake. The river makes a worse mistake than me.
14 there was a little sex change behind. I found a decent lap one. I think you can get our phone turns two to four. That is the top of that is really good for that one. So if that exit out of turn 13, then we'll also have the race the exit. As we do over getting away from everyone else on the field. Two of us gonna get the slot stream going into turn one. Then get the fast swap off the race with the 147271. I'm gonna take the inside line, the other one goes from the outside, we make some contact. I wanna hold the curve. As the river will take the lead, Freddie Powell now right behind us. And the Warden Carlin, as he almost spin it. And jump down to Peter. I want to go down inside and make contact with the river. Make us both one night. I think from one and over kills. The tire we this game is so bad. As I was dropped out the final corner, the RS enabled. And so quite proud of about to overtake me going into turn one. I go around the outside of chair and the river. I try and leave the room. We make contact. I lose a bunch of time, which is not good. It's been the chaos and opening three laps to the feature race. Just going to make contact with the river. 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 Just going to make I think I'm going to go into the pixel lap 4 or lap 5. So we now have the RS on the river, which will help us gain positions. Or gain back the lead. I see us a yellow flag. Sometimes one of our engine and someone else's engine is gone after the players. And that's us out of the race. This has been a poor start okay, to the season. Safety car is out, safety safety car car is out like everyone else on the grid. This has been terrible for us. Mechanical failure. So we can to forget what all of them are doing. But hopefully in round two at Cheddar, we can tell what luck can and have to. Turns to come this season. I hope you'll join us at the next race when Formula 2 returns. How do they get two points? So in two of them, it seems like one of the sprint then, Prince Pauline, Koshira and Peter, the first day P9, and then me and Arthur Claire and TNFs, sadly, on lap 4. Lap 3, I mean. So yeah, terrible luck in the first two races of Triumph and Clear Mode, but hopefully in the next episode we can get our luck back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and goodbye.